In AFL football, in fact, any football for that matter, you make some great friends. And it's not just the blokes you play. Of course, James has been playing for 15 years at the top and his path has crossed that of so many other players. In the good old days, interstate carnivals were a great way to get to know footballers from, one, from teams and you're often just surprised to find out that they weren't such bad fellows after all. Herdy too has many friends outside of the Essen Football Club and one of those is here with us tonight, Hawthorne champion Shane Crawford. Despite a severe case of leather poison after last night, he joins us up here on stage. Would you please put your hands together and welcome Shane Crawford. <laughs> uh, I've got a speech in here somewhere. Oh shit. Um, here we go. Peter Riccardi has been a great player. <laughs> shit, wrong place. Sorry. I've got another one. Hi, my name is Shane and I'm an alcoholic. Oh, hang, on. <laughs> hang on. I'll get there. Actually, speaking about alcohol, um, Tanya, when we were in Ireland, I was with James when he was the captain of the Irish team. And what a great captain he is. Um, those death threats, that was me. As I said, I'm an alcoholic. So I apologise, I was bored. Uh, all the boys went to sleep. I was out in the town being single, chasing a few girls. I, over in Ireland, they're redhead and freckles, so not really my go. But um, I was a bit bored, so I apologise for that. But uh, can I just say, um, firstly, thank you. Uh, to the Essendon Football Club for the invitation to be here tonight and be a part of what I believe is the greatest player uh, to ever have played. Uh, so thank you. I'm actually talking about myself. <laughs> so, uh, James is a good try. He tries hard and... Uh, but uh, quite seriously, I just want to say a couple of, uh, I'm not often that serious, but I just want to say it's, it's been uh, an amazing career. Um, he's a player who only a few weeks ago, um, I couldn't wait for Essendon to get him back in their side. And, uh, and when they did, it was just a, a new side. And not only that, he played so well. He's a, a great player. Not, we don't like playing against him because he always plays well. He always seems to uh, kick five goals and have 30 possessions, but he seems to do that every week. But, um, he's a great player to watch. You know, I know a lot of the players on Friday nights and, and any replays, they love watching football and watching the opposition and seeing how they go about it. And James Hurd is by far uh, the best player to watch because not only does he kick goals and take great marks and show great courage, but you know he just wants to win all the time. And uh, I certainly admire James and um, it's been a great honour and privilege to play against him and hopefully in the not too distant future when he does retire and uh, I myself retire as we're getting older. Um, I look forward, and I know James is, wants to head towards a media career, I look forward to hopefully teaming up there and becoming a, a bit of a partnership and working towards something in the future. So um, that's pretty much all I've got to say, James. Thank you once again for having me tonight and I hope everyone has a terrific night. So uh, thank you and congratulations once again, James. Shane Crawford, everybody.